So in this example, we have a between subjects design. So sex, male, female is between subjects, and also the alcohol level is between subjects. So what we have is a two by three design. So to run a number here, we can't use the fit y by x because we have a two-way ANOVA. So we instead need to use the fit model here. So attractiveness is our dependent measure, goes into y, and sex and alcohol levels are our independent variables and we could add them here individually but it's easy to just basically add them here with the full factorial so we have sex the alcohol level and also the interaction between the two and we just want the normality report here we don't need all the additional information for now so if you run this the main thing you're probably interested in is whether there's any significant effects of sex alcohol level and the interaction. So for sex we see the probability is about 8%, so only marginally significant, whereas for alcohol level there's a clearly significant effect here. And also for the interaction we get the degrees, uh, the details about the degrees of freedom and the sum of squares of ratios here for reporting. What's quite useful and I definitely recommend doing is looking into the effect details just to make sure that everything was properly added. So first thing you can do is just basically plot all the data by pressing command while uh, clicking on the plot menu. It basically propagates the command to the different parts here. So for sex, alcohol level, and also the interaction. So it plots all three at once, which can be quite convenient. So as we can see here, yeah, there's indeed very much of an effect here for the alcohol. Yes, it goes down and it does indeed look like we have an interaction here between female and male and this is exactly what we found up here. So how do we go about testing this further? So one of the initial hypotheses was to see whether females and males are differently affected by this. One way to do this is to actually do test slices here. It's kind of a post hoc measure here the post hoc test where basically what it does it compares whether for females there is an effect of the other dependent variables so alcohol level. So we can now see here that there is indeed no effect here. For the males there is a significant effect here so we can see this also in the data plot here so it goes down. For zero points there's no difference between males and females for two points there's again no significant difference here but for four points as you can see in the data plot there's also a significant difference here. Another way we could have investigated this is by doing a contrast or we can specifically select which combination to compare. So for example for okay, the female four points version with the male four points version we can then set this up here and this shows us well, pretty much exactly the same as the slice here because it's the same test. Another way we could do postdoc tests is of course to do a lot of individual tests, which is not what I recommend, but just for the sake of it we can do it here with the two case HSD tests, honestly significant differences test. And also here you can see that the male four point conditions significantly different than all the other conditions which kind of makes sense if you look at the data plot here. So one thing missing is study effect sizes. Unfortunately GMP doesn't give a good build in way to measure the effect sizes but if you use the calculate effect size of plugin this makes it a lot easier. So if you run this, the example you want to use here, so if there's multiple uh, data that you have open, multiple fit model, you can select which one to use. So here's when you use the sex alcohol level and the action between the two, it gives you also again the map ratios and the probabilities. So here we have alpha squared, partial alpha squared, and omega squared. For more than one way, maybe we typically want to use the partial L squares. So 
for one way interval, this would be identical for two way interval plot like a square. Basically, means the probability explained by that level if after the probability explained by the other levels has already been accounted for. And in general, plot like a square is a few 7.07 or 7 percent really means that 7 percent of the variability in the data can be attributed to the factor of sex and 49 percent can be attributed to the factor alcohol level and 34 percent to the interaction. 